your protein leakage is far too high. Stop immediately with the habit of sleeping in just any position that feels comfortable. You must adopt a strategic sleeping posture to protect your filters. Did you know that the way you lie down for eight hours every night might be silently suffocating your kidney blood flow and causing that thick foam you see every morning? Many things we consider harmless comfort are actually putting immense physical pressure on your renal vein. Proteinuria, or the presence of protein in your urine, is a term you must take seriously because it directly determines your remaining years of health. It is not just a laboratory value on a screen, it is a desperate distress signal from your internal filtration system. If you continue to ignore this sign, the final result is inevitably the exhaustion of your nephrons leading to the nightmare of dialysis or total kidney failure. Your kidneys are working overtime while you sleep and your posture determines if they succeed or fail. I am Dr. Mathias from Kidney Health 365. Statistics show that millions of Americans are currently living with declining kidney function, but 90% remain completely unaware. This is because the kidneys lack sensory nerves to tell you when they are hurting. You might mistake your morning fatigue or high blood pressure as a natural part of being over 55, but this silence is exactly why kidney disease is called the silent killer. It progresses without a sound until it is nearly too late. How can you defend your kidneys naturally while you rest? The answer starts with the foundation of your nighttime routine. In this video, I will show you the exact positions to avoid and the golden posture that has been scientifically shown to improve renal circulation and stabilize your filtration. One simple shift in how you align your body tonight takes less than two minutes, but it can fundamentally change the way your kidneys flush out toxins by tomorrow morning. To understand why your sleeping position matters, we first have to look at the incredible biological work your kidneys perform while you are unconscious. Many people assume that the body simply shuts down at night, but for your renal system, the night shift is a period of intense regulation. During these hours, your kidneys follow a specific circadian rhythm to balance electrolytes, reabsorb vital water, and filter out the metabolic waste accumulated throughout the day. This is the time when the kidneys attempt to repair cellular damage and reset your internal chemistry for the next morning. A critical discovery in recent years is the role of the glymphatic system and its relationship to organ detoxification. While we often hear about this system in the brain, researchers have found that the kidneys also rely on the movement of interstitial fluids to clear out excess proteins and cellular debris. When you sleep, your blood pressure naturally dips by about 10 to 20 percent. This nocturnal dipping is essential because it gives the glomerular filters a much needed rest from the high pressure pounding they endure during your waking hours. If this rest period is disrupted by poor sleep quality or restricted blood flow due to your body's physical alignment, the kidneys remain in a state of high alert stress, leading to more protein leakage and that familiar dense foam in your morning urine. Gravity also plays a massive role in how efficiently your blood returns from your lower extremities back to the heart and then to the kidneys. If you are positioned in a way that compresses the inferior vena cava, the main highway for deoxygenated blood, your kidneys will receive less freshly oxygenated blood to fuel their filtration process. According to studies highlighted by the American Society of Nephrology, chronic sleep deprivation or poor sleep mechanics are directly linked to a faster decline in the glomerular filtration rate. Most of us have a favorite position that we have used for decades often without realizing it might be working against our anatomy. For many, lying flat on the back seems like the most natural choice for spinal health, but when it comes to the delicate plumbing of the renal veins, this position carries both hidden benefits and significant risks depending on your body type. Let us examine the pros and cons of back sleeping and how a simple pillow adjustment can determine whether this position helps or hurts your kidney filters. Lying flat on your back, known as the supine position, is often praised by physical therapists for maintaining a neutral spine. However, when we look at this through the lens of kidney health and foamy urine, the results are a mixed bag. The primary benefit of sleeping on your back is that it allows your body weight to be distributed evenly across your largest surface area. This can prevent specific pressure points that might restrict peripheral circulation. For some, this stability helps the heart pump more consistently, which in turn provides a steady, albeit baseline flow of blood to the renal arteries. The significant downside, however, 
appears if you struggle with sleep apnea obesity or cardiovascular congestion. When you lie flat on your back, gravity can cause the internal organs and abdominal fat to compress the inferior vena cava. This is the massive vein responsible for carrying deoxygenated blood from your lower body back to your heart. If this vein is even slightly compressed, blood begins to pool in the lower extremities increasing the venous pressure. This back pressure can extend into the renal veins causing a congestion effect within the kidneys themselves. When the kidneys are congested, the internal pressure of the glomerular filters rises which can lead to increased protein leakage and more foam in the morning. According to clinical observations on renal hemodynamics patients with existing kidney stress, may find that lying flat increases the workload on their filtration units compared to other positions. I want to hear about your sleeping habits. If you currently sleep primarily on your back and have never thought about how it affects your kidneys, please comment number zero below. If you have already experimented with different positions or use a special wedge pillow to elevate your legs or torso, please comment number one. Your feedback helps us understand which habits are most common in our community. To mitigate the risks of back sleeping, many specialists recommend placing a pillow under your knees to tilt the pelvis and improve blood return. But while the back position is neutral, there is another specific orientation that acts as a functional savior for the kidneys. This position uses the natural asymmetry of your internal organs to remove pressure from the most vital vessels effectively opening up the highway for blood to reach your filters with the least amount of resistance. Let us look at why turning to your left side might be the single most effective change you can make tonight to wake up with clearer urine tomorrow. If there is a gold standard for sleeping positions when it comes to kidney health, it is undoubtedly lying on your left side. This is not just about comfort, it is a strategic move based on the human anatomy. Your body is not symmetrical on the inside. The largest vein in your body, the inferior vena cava, sits on the right side of your spine. When you sleep on your left side, you prevent your internal organs and your own body weight from compressing this critical vessel. This simple shift allows for an unobstructed high-velocity return of blood to the heart, which then pumps freshly oxygenated blood back to your kidneys with maximum efficiency. By sleeping on your left side, you are essentially opening the floodgates for your renal system. This position reduces the venous pressure inside the kidneys, which is a major factor in preventing the microscopic leaks that lead to proteinuria. When the internal pressure of the kidney is stabilized, the glomerular filters do not have to work as hard to keep protein in the blood where it belongs. This is why many patients notice that their urine is significantly less foamy after a night spent on their left side. Furthermore, this position assists the lymphatic system in draining toxins from the KTN or the interstitial spaces between your kidney cells. According to studies on sleep posture and organ perfusion, the left side position provides the most stable hemodynamics for patients with cardiovascular and renal concerns. It also carries the secondary benefit of reducing acid reflux, which lowers the overall inflammatory stress on your body during the night. I want to know if you have noticed a difference in how you feel based on which side you sleep on. If you usually wake up on your right side or your back and have never tried intentionally sleeping on your left to help your kidneys, please comment number zero. If you are already a left side sleeper and have noticed that it helps with your digestion or your morning energy, please comment number one. Your experience helps us build a better picture of these simple lifestyle shifts. While the left side is the savior for your filtration units, there is one position that acts as its complete opposite. Some people find comfort by lying on their stomach, but for someone trying to reduce kidney foam and protect their GFR, this position can be a disaster. Lying face down creates a physical environment that forces your kidneys to fight against intense pressure for eight hours straight. Let us look at why the stomach sleeping position is considered the primary enemy of your kidney's delicate filtration membrane. If there is one position you should strive to eliminate from your nightly routine immediately, it is sleeping on your stomach. While it may feel cozy to some, this posture is arguably the most destructive for anyone concerned about foamy urine and kidney longevity. When you lie face down, your entire body weight is pressed directly against your abdominal cavity. This creates a high-pressure environment that physically compresses your bladder and, more importantly, your kidneys. 
Imagine your kidneys as delicate, high-precision sponges that need to expand and contract slightly as they process blood. By lying on your stomach, you are essentially placing a heavy weight on those sponges for eight hours. This external pressure increases what we call intra-abdominal pressure, which is directly transmitted to the renal veins. When the pressure inside the kidney rises due to this external squeezing, it forces the filtration membrane to work under extreme duress. This can lead to a phenomenon known as hyperfiltration, where the kidneys are forced to push blood through the filters at a much higher pressure than they were designed to handle. Over time, this mechanical stress can widen the tiny pores in your glomerular filters, allowing more protein to escape into your urine. This is why many people who sleep on their stomachs wake up to find their first urine of the day is exceptionally bubbly and thick. Furthermore, stomach sleeping often requires you to turn your neck to an extreme angle, which can strain the nerves and blood vessels that communicate with your brain and heart. This physical stress keeps your sympathetic nervous system in a state of mild fight or flight, preventing the blood pressure dipping that is so essential for kidney repair. Your kidneys never get that period of low pressure rest they desperately need to heal. Avoiding the stomach position is a vital first step, but the physical orientation of your body is only one part of the equation. To truly wake up with the clearest urine possible, you must also prepare your internal environment before you even pull back the covers. There are three specific habits you can start tonight that will support your kidneys through their night shift, ensuring they have the right temperature, the right hydration levels, and the right metabolic environment to perform their best. Let us look at the three golden habits you should adopt before your head hits the pillow to maximize your filtration efficiency while you dream. Adopting the right sleeping position is a powerful physical strategy, but you must also optimize your internal environment before you go to sleep. To wake up with clear urine and healthy kidneys, there are three golden habits you should integrate into your evening routine. These steps ensure your kidneys aren't forced to work in a state of stress or dehydration while you are unconscious. The first habit is managing your bedroom temperature. Your kidneys are extremely sensitive to your body's hydration levels. If your room is too hot, you will lose significant amounts of water through perspiration. This causes your blood to become more concentrated, making it thicker and harder for your kidneys to filter. By keeping your room cool, you minimize fluid loss and allow your kidneys to process blood more smoothly. A cool environment also promotes deeper sleep, which is when the most significant cellular repair occurs within your renal tissues. The second habit involves the timing of your last glass of water. While staying hydrated is essential drinking a large amount of water right before bed can actually backfire. It forces your kidneys to work at a high capacity during the early hours of the morning when they should be resting. Ideally, you should consume your last significant amount of water about two hours before sleep. This allows your bladder to empty before you lie down, preventing interrupted sleep and reducing the pressure on your urinary system throughout the night. The third habit is slightly elevating the head of your bed if you suffer from mild edema or swelling. By raising your upper body just a few inches, you use gravity to assist with venous drainage. This prevents fluid from pooling in your lower extremities and reduces the sudden volume load on your heart and kidneys when you wake up. These three simple adjustments take less than five minutes of your time, but provide eight hours of continuous support for your renal health. But beyond these physical and environmental habits, there is a deeper biological connection between the duration of your rest and the chemistry of your blood. Many people are surprised to find that their lab results, specifically their creatinine levels, can be directly influenced by how many hours they spend in deep sleep. Let us look at the fascinating science behind why getting a full night of rest is one of the most effective ways to lower your toxic load and improve your overall filtration numbers. It might surprise you to learn that the amount of time you spend in bed has a direct impact on your blood chemistry, particularly your creatinine levels. Creatinine is a waste product that comes from the normal wear and tear of your muscles. During the day, as you move and work, your muscles produce this waste at a steady rate. However, your kidneys are responsible for clearing it out. If you are chronically sleep-deprived, you are denying your kidneys the optimal window they need to perform this cleanup. When you achieve deep, uninterrupted sleep, your body enters a state of minimal muscle exertion. This naturally slows down the production of new creatinine. 
Simultaneously, your kidney function is optimized by the stable blood pressure and reduced stress hormones that come with deep rest. According to research presented by the American Society of Nephrology Individuals, who consistently sleep less than five hours a night show, a significantly faster decline in their glomerular filtration rate compared to those who get seven to eight hours. Short sleep duration keeps the body in a state of chronic inflammation and high sympathetic nervous system activity, which constricts the small blood vessels in the kidneys and makes it much harder for them to flush out toxins. By prioritizing a full night of rest in the correct position, you are effectively giving your kidneys a clean slate for the next day. This is why many patients who improve their sleep hygiene often see a stabilization or even a slight improvement in their creatinine and GFR numbers over time. It is not a miracle, it is simply allowing your body's natural biological systems to function without the interference of stress and exhaustion. I want to know about your sleep quality. If you find yourself waking up multiple times a night or surviving on less than six hours of sleep, please comment number zero. If you consistently get seven or more hours of restful sleep and feel energized in the morning, please comment number one. Understanding our sleep patterns is a vital piece of the kidney health puzzle. Every small adjustment we have discussed today from the way you align your body to the temperature of your room builds a foundation for long-term rental protection. These are not just tips for comfort. They are essential strategies for survival and health. As we wrap up this session, let us summarize exactly how you can implement these changes tonight to ensure you are waking up with the healthiest kidneys possible. Your journey to recovery continues even while you dream, as long as you provide your body with the right environment to heal. We have explored how your nightly habits determine your rental health. Remember sleeping on your left side is the golden rule to optimize blood flow while avoiding the stomach position prevents destructive pressure on your filters. Combine this with a cool room and proper hydration timing, and you are providing your kidneys with the perfect environment to repair themselves and clear out toxic creatinine. You must realize that your kidneys never take a day off and they are especially vulnerable while you sleep. Every night you spend in a position that restricts circulation is another eight hours of unnecessary wear and tear on your delicate glomerular membranes. Kidney damage often progresses in total silence, and by the time you see severe symptoms, your options may be limited. That is why making these simple adjustments tonight is so critical for your long-term survival. I want you to feel empowered. Improving your kidney health does not always require drastic medical procedures. Often it starts with these small, mindful changes to your daily and nightly routines. You have the ability to support your body's natural healing process simply by choosing how you rest. Your journey to better health is a marathon, and every restful night is a victory for your filters. Before you go to bed tonight, I want you to do two things. First, place a supportive pillow by your side to help you stay in the left side position. Second, adjust your thermostat to a cooler setting. Please remember that this information is for educational purposes and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult your doctor before making major lifestyle changes. If you found this guide helpful, please subscribe to Kidney Health 365 and hit the notification bell. To further protect your filters, watch our next video Foamy Urine, Four Fruits, and Daily Habits to protect your kidneys starting today. I am Dr. Mathias and I will see you there.